Five, 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 five four, including four. Norway. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, no, it's great. It's a uh, good crew, good mood. Uh, the music. There's so much new music. We're playing the whole last record and also the the title cut extra thing. So there's a lot of new music that we kind of haven't figured out yet, which is always a good thing for us because we get easily bored with old songs. So uh, we have a larger repertoire now. And uh, it's been two years since we did it last time. And that was with Reina, and then the year before that was also with Reina. And the time before that was with Stola. So it's the first time as a power trio in five years, I think, or something like that. So it's been a long time since the just the three of us. And for sure we play differently when it's just the three of us. That yeah. really changes the dynamics of things and it really... Yeah, it's a different exercise, basically. Yeah. Since we toured so with motorcycle, yeah, two two years since the since the Behind the Sun tour. So uh, I guess a lot of people uh, missed us, <laughs> and uh, we miss them because we truly enjoy doing this again. Uh, because two years without a long European tour feels a bit long because you need this kind of. Uh, out uh, outburst every year, a long grinding tour when you just lose yourself to uh, to the music and uh, when you're in the middle of a tour, you're just this <laughs> raw bundle of uh, <laughs> something yeah. that just wants to play and uh, sleep and eat and play, 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 play some more. Yeah. No distractions. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think I missed it. Uh, every month it seems to be doing well eh, for you guys. Yeah. Uh, we must have hit some kind of nerve with it. I don't know what it is. Uh, no idea, but uh, for sure it's less frantic and less rocky than a lot of the stuff we've done the last few years. So maybe that's a good thing, I don't know, maybe people like us when we're more majestic and psychedelic than when we're gnarly and rocking out, I, 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 don't, I don't know. This tour has been really well attended, uh, many many sold out shows and really enthusiastic uh, crowd and uh, feel a really great connection with all the psychonauts that are really pushing us forward uh, like this. It's uh, really privileged to have this, uh, this uh, posse of people following us. And, uh, Rock and roll! Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cleveland! <laughs> but I see it's quite a few older faces coming back and I see a lot of new faces coming in too so it's, uh, it's sort of opening in all both ends somehow it seems have a lot more room or a lot more legs to it than I thought they're, they're all all of them are sort of slowly changing into something else you know they're sort of mutating and we're finding them still so uh, that's a good thing that's uh, you feel them developing as you play them that's exciting still on the road of discovery yeah, yeah. yeah. all of them I don't think any of them are totally set yet 
So now it's all really raw and in the making, and you know, so uh, like I say, said, uh, you don't want this kind of meta perspective or think too much about what you're doing. You just have to think about how to solve all technical situations and that all the technical shit is together, and then you can just get off from that, and then, yeah. yeah. Hopefully the end result is uh, worthwhile Hopefully. listening to. Uh, So uh, it's exciting, it's fun, and it's uh, challenging with all the pedals and all the keyboards and all that crap. So uh, work intensive, but good. Complicating setup maybe, like like a square meter to room to move and... Yeah, but and not at all. It's just uh, part of the larger instrument and uh, it's really easy to uh, play around with and also really easy to fuck up and get lost in in the technical situations on stage, but uh, it's really good. It keeps your mind sharp at another kind of level, and uh, and when you succeed in, in moving around on, on that kind of level, then you can do uh, something else next time. You are broadening your, broadening your repertoire and uh, learning. Uh, and every night is a learning situation, and uh, trying to navigate through the songs, <laughs> so uh, keeps us on our toes. I bought that H.P. Lovecraft record in 1990, no, 89 or 88, something like that. It's, and when we started Motorcycle, that's like one of the records that we listened a lot to. I was like, man, we should really play this song, we know it, you know. And we've been singing it on the bus and, you know, forever. But it, we never really had uh, the context where it would fit before. But uh, for this record, it really did, and uh, it works, works really well. You know, it's been in folklore for, for centuries. So it's basically taking one of these archetypes, you know, the, the big black dog of depression, and using it as a framework to sing up, you know. That, that's how it feels, you know, because, especially relating it to, to Norwegian endless winters, uh, where you have no sun and it gets really dark, it's kind of, you can get pretty dark on the inside too, you know, so. Uh, so it's a natural song for an original band to sing, I think. It's very much a, a true statement. 